Hello, and thank you for visiting the channel again. I came across something recently that blew my mind, and I want to share it with you. It is a true story about heart transplant recipients, that after they received a heart from someone else, their personality, desires, and preferences changed and became more similar to their donor. I will leave the name of the book in the description for those who want to know more, but I picked the three most amazing stories, and I want to share it with you. The first case is about an 8-year-old girl, who, after she received a heart from another 10-year-old girl, started having nightmares about a murder scene. After she woke up screaming in fright several times, her mother took her to a psychiatrist. Throughout the treatment, he understood that it is way more than just a dream, and told them to go to the police, where the girl gave a detailed description of the dream, like the place and the time of the murder, the weapon, the face of the killer, and more. The investigation reveals that the heart donor was murdered, and the killer has not been found yet. What is truly surprising was that her dream was so precise and clear, that as a result, the killer was identified, confessed, and convicted. Evidently, this dream wasn't just coincidental, but isn't it extremely strange? The donor, a girl who has already died, has a part of her, her personality or her memory, still alive and seeking for justice. I really don't have answers, but it completely amazed me. The next story is about 57-year-old Sonny Graham, who received a heart from a 33-year-old man who committed suicide. What is really surprising here is that after a few years following the transplant, Sonny ended his life as well. It is important to note that he wasn't suicidal before. And there is more. For all of you who watch the movie 21 Grams, it turns out that the story is not complete science fiction and does have some truth to it. When Sonny met Cheryl, the donor's wife, he said that he felt he had already known her for years. The last story, and the most famous one, is about Claire Sylvia, a dancer and choreographer that had a heart transplant in 1988. She wrote a book about her experiences named A Change of a Heart, in which she described the changes she felt after the transplant. All her life, she had followed a healthy diet, but after the surgery, she developed cravings for chicken nuggets, french fries, and beer, things she didn't eat before. Her gait also changed. Her daughter said that she's walking like a man. She also became more self-confident, and her personality changed as well. The weirdest thing was that she had a dream a few months after the transplant where she knew clearly that she received a heart from a guy named Tim. She searched for details about the donor, and indeed, his name was Tim. He was 18 years old and died due to a motorcycle accident. He loved chicken nuggets, french fries, and beer. And he was self-confident, which also explained her change of personality. And there are plenty of similar stories. Professor Paul Pearsall from the University of Hawaii said that patients who underwent heart transplant claimed that they experienced significant and inexplicable change in personality after the surgery, like memories, feelings, fears, psychological and behavioral changes, even musical preferences in which they became more like their donors in temperament and personal preferences. There was one gentlewoman who hated violence, to the point that whenever there was a violent scene or fighting in a movie her husband was watching, she used to walk out of the room. After receiving a heart donation from a pugilist, she became passionate about boxing. She could watch games all day screaming and cheering. The question is, how, through heart transplant, so much information is passed to another person? Scientifically, the brain is responsible for memories, emotions, personality, habits, etc., which are stored in the cortex and hippocampus throughout our lives. How does the heart function like the brain? How does it contain and pass on the identity of the donors? There is one theory that tries to explain this phenomenon called cellular memory, that hypothesis that memories can be stored in individual cells outside the brain, but there is no scientific consensus around this. And if we talk spiritual matters, did the donor's soul or part of it pass on to the recipient? Are there now two souls in one person, or one soul and a bit? Does a part of the dead donor continue to live after their body has passed away? And with the heart that was removed from the recipient, is a part of them, their soul or their personality, also removed? 
I would like to know what you think about it, and if you know more stories or any information about this subject, let me know in the comments. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed preparing it for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.